So today's recipe is video number two in our slider series. So we are going to be making beef and gravy sliders. So before we get into our recipe, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you'll never miss out on any of my videos. And to my returning viewers, thank you for your support. Your comments mean the world to me. So let's grab our aprons, get our ingredients, and let's get started. For our beef roast and gravy sliders, we're going to need a beef roast, which is roughly about two pounds, some butter, mushrooms, brown gravy mix, onion, and beef broth. So the first thing we need to do is season up our beef roast, and I'm going to be seasoning it with my Cajun seasoning, um, Tony Sacheray's, which is my go-to. So we're going to season all sides of the roast. I'm going to press it in. Got this all seasoned up. Oh, just missed a spot here. Get that in there. There we go. Now we've got this all seasoned up. We're going to get over to a crock pot and put this all together and get this cooking. And as always, we need to wash our hands, being we've been working with raw meat. So let's get over to our crock pot. All right, so we're going to take our beef roast and we're going to throw him in our crock pot. And on top of that, we are going to add in some sliced onions. Get some room in here. Then we're going to add in some mush sliced mushrooms. And we are going to add in about cup of beef broth. Now we're going to throw a lid on this and set this on high and let this go for about three to four hours till the beef is tender. So our roast has been cooking for a good three and a half hours and so now we just need to shred this up. Once we get this shredded off, we're also going to pull out any of the little bit of extra fat on here. And then we're going to get this back in our crock pot and we're going to add our brick mix, add in our gravy mix. So we've added our shredded beef back into our crock pot. Now we're going to mix up our beef broth. And we're only going to use about a cup in the mixture because it is a two cup package but we've got about a cup worth of mixture I mean broth already in here so what we're going to do now is we're going to let this go for about another hour get all of this off the bottom So we're going to cover this back up, let it go for another hour. Okay, so our beef roast and gravy and onions and mushrooms have been going for about an hour. So what we're going to do now, we are going to scoop this out and put this across our sliders. 
um, which we have lined into a oven safe baking dish. In some cases, it's just not possible. Okay, the last little bit of meat on this. We don't want to overflow it too much. But then again, these are sliders and they need to be messy anyway. Alright, so let me move this over here out of the way. And I am going to grab our provolone cheese which I forgot to mention in our uh, in the um, ingredient list and I also forgot to mention my sliders I was just absent-minded okay Got our provolone on here. Put this on the way. And then we are going to top these with our slider tops. All right, now we're going to brush these with butter. sesame seeds to this or you can do you know a parmesan cheese blend you know totally up to you all right now we are going to pop these into a 350 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes till the cheese is all melted Okay, so we just pulled these out the oven, and the cheese is all nice and melty gooey. Uh, oops, I forgot my oven mitts. Don't want to burn. All right. Go ahead and get these out. These are going to be good. Just look at the cheese all stringy and stuff. Ouch. Go ahead and break these up. And we are set and ready to go. Oh my God. This is so good. I am going to so enjoy. All right, so like I said, this is episode, uh, episode two. This is video two in my slider series, um, and there's going to be a total of five. So I wanted to thank everybody for watching. I also wanted to express my thanks to each and every one of you who support my channel. And remember, be nice, be kind, because it could change someone's day. And so I'm going to let everyone go, and I'm going to sit down and have me some sliders. And until next time, enjoy.